Hi, I'm Sid Hoda. I'm the general manager of the Emerging Solutions Group uh, within Cisco Systems. Well, look, for us, digital signage and rich media is part of our heritage. We've been doing this for over five years. We're the number one player in the market, according to Frost and Sullivan. Um, and uh, we're really proud of our customer success. We've had uh, four Apex Awards, in fact, last night. We had a, a couple of goals, Melbourne Airport and Parks Casinos, um, a silver and a bronze. So uh, really proud about the success of the customers, our history of the space itself. It's a very important priority for Cisco Video. And you know, um, what's cool about this, it's not just a corporate thing, all of us are consumers, all of us are travelers. So when you walk around a place like this, it's not just looking at it from the eyes of a company like Cisco, but the eyes of, I'm a, I'm a shopper. I'm a traveler, I'm a patient in a hospital. I want to know how does this thing make my experience better uh, beyond just from a corporate perspective. So some of the key trends that we see in the space is that we're going away from signage and going towards experience. There's a lot of signs out there. Walk around a store, walk around an airport, there's signs everywhere. We have enough signs, but what we don't have enough of is experience, being able to take rich content, uh, content perhaps that's um, contextually, based on time of day, day of week, location, important for me, personalized, any glass, anywhere. Why should it only be on one particular screen? Maybe it should follow me. So the idea of content becoming more of experience, signage going towards experience, is what we see as a major trend. Um, as a, as, a, again, as a shopper, as a consumer, but also being able to manage that in a very scalable way. What's really hard, and you walk around a show like this and you see some really cool things, but it's cool in a booth in a convention center. Now do it a thousand times across your retail chain, very, very hard. So one of the trends we see is not just what you see on the outside, making it very manageable uh, for a company. That is making it scalable, easy to, to, to put it in a thousand of these versus doing one and it working. So, yeah, but so it's both two sides, the, what you see and what you don't see that are really important trends driving things like cloud, the cloud enablement of this content. Things like scalable technologies that simply you know, don't break down as often as a typical PC has in the past. You want to run things 24 by 7 every day, outside, inside. How many times do you restart your PC when you use it in a few hours? So you can't live that way in a company. So what does experience mean? Well, experience means several things. One, it means more money. People have done all kinds of studies and they realize that happier customers come to your store more often, they buy more stuff. Happier travelers in an airport buy more stuff. So it's important to make sure that consumers have a rich and good experience. What do that means for that particular space? Now how do you drive that? You drive that many ways. One is through engagement. You got to engage their interests. Things have to look interesting, be easy to use, etc. cetera. Uh, and also relevance. You've got to deliver the right kind of content at the right time, right place. And very often the mistake that's made is we focus in on what we want to tell versus what they need to hear, right? Big difference, very subtle, but big difference. So focus on the pain points of you, yourself, walking around in an airport. What do you need to know? What are you frustrated about? That content, making the experience better, is what really the focus ought to be. So experience is the guiding principle, and whatever the content is, however it should be consumed, how often should be driven entirely by the experience uh, you're desiring for your customers. The context of where they are, um, what time of the day it is, is it a commuter rush hour in New York on a subway or a Sunday afternoon leisure with the family? Very different, right? And so you gotta understand what do they need? What kind of shopper are they? Uh, and so if you understand that, now you know what they need to know. What should I tell them? Should I make this more entertaining or more informative and quickly get through the system? Right? Those are the guiding principles to making experience better. You know, this is a, a, a fantastic show, and where else would you do it but Vegas? Talk about the, the you know, rich content and lights and action. This is a place to do it. So I, I love coming to these shows. I think they're fun, they're exciting. Walking around is just a treat. Um, now, so, uh, but what I'll say, what, one piece of feedback I'll give back is I, I feel like this year I've probably seen less revolutionary ideas um, than I would have expected. I saw a few really cool things, but I probably didn't go around and see as much ooh and eyeing as I, I would have thought. Maybe it's slowly coming to place. More 3D, for example, more virtual reality. Saw a few interesting examples, but probably more of that coming up in the future. Because what we're doing right now is we're shaping 
not just what's possible today, but for the next you know, couple of years in some ways. Mm -hmm. uh, people are thinking about what platform should I invest in to drive an experience throughout my bank, throughout my retail chain. Um, I got to start thinking about those ideas now. So I think, I, I think more maybe um, crazy ideas uh, would be good to see, because you never know. I mean, like, um, there was a crazy idea many, many years ago of putting all your music on this little box not your LPs. Well, that crazy idea changed our lifestyles, right? So I think I think more crazy ideas would be kind of interesting in some ways. Um, I think that when I walk around, uh, I, I see a lot of interesting demos. But one question I always ask is, how many people have this installed in a lot of places? Mm -hmm. And that's where you can really tell what's real and what's perhaps a demo. And I think that today is there's so much pressure on OpEx, on CapEx and companies that yeah. people can't invest in science projects. They gotta invest in real things, deliver real business value, real ROI. So I, I think it's important to understand, you know, what is real, what's not real? What is scalable? What can you put into a bunch of subway stations, a bunch of airports, and what looks nice in a convention hall? So that's my very candid feedback in terms of what I've seen here. Overall, I like the, the vibe. A lot of good, uh, you know, sort of uh, companies here all around the world. So it's exciting. I think it's a really fun place to be. Yeah. So one of the reasons why um, we're here this week is uh, around, of course, absorbing all the ideas that are here, but also providing some new things um, from a technology perspective. So in Cisco, this week we announced something called the Interactive Services Solution, or nicknamed iServices. This is a new platform we've developed to really drive digital interactions uh, in a store, in a subway station, in a, in a bank, et cetera. So it's the idea that we're moving from signage to in engagement, uh, interactions, et cetera, and to do that on a screen. Um, everything from real-time information to perhaps planning your trip to shopping to buying something. Uh, for, so all that coming together. Um, a screen being used for multiple purposes, not just for the consumer, but maybe for the employee. Same screen, multiple uses. Um, now, this all sounds good on paper and in a demo room, but is it real? Well, what we launched this week, uh, what you're seeing now here officially, has been sort of a bit of a secret project for a while. In fact, launched at New York. We, in September of last year, launched in six subway stations in New York, Grand Central, Penn Plaza, some big stations, running 24 by seven. Because our aspiration was, look, don't just create sizzle, make the sizzle real. Make it actually usable, robust, so that you not only do you make the chief marketing officer happy, but also the CIO happy too, right? Very often there are ideas that marketing and sales love, but are simply not doable from an IT or AV perspective. We need to make both groups happy, because both of them have budgets and both of them make decisions. So in our case, when we launched this week, iServices is just as important, the sizzle, what's possible, the experience it drives, as it is, how do you manage it? How is it scale? And the idea, in our case, is we have a, um, a client that's called a, a, a thin client, no moving parts, eight and a half a year, meantime between failures. So why is that important? Because in a subway station with 480 stations in New York, I can put them out there and not worry about them. I don't have to go there and fix something, right? That's really challenging. So for us, that's just as important as the fun part. Because if it's fun and hard to manage, it doesn't happen. Well, one of the things um, that I think is fun about digital signage and all this stuff is it, it, it's, it's rich uh, in terms of our experience and uh, entertaining, engaging, et cetera. So it's all fun you know, to kind of walk around and see. Uh, but I think what's important is to be able to um, bring it all together. Content that's static, video experiences, for example, live video experiences, um, interactions, and bring it together in a way that just, it works. Uh, so I, I think one thing about Cisco that I want to share is that we're, we're good at this because that's how we live. In our company, when you're an employee, when you learn, when you communicate, um, when you collaborate, you use a lot of the tools that we sell. We use video religiously. We love video. Uh, everybody in our company knows exactly what our chairman, John Chambers, sounds like, what he looks like, um, how he talks, his style, because they see him all the time on video. Um, he scales around the world. He can't be all over the world, but he is all over the world on video. So for us, video is a part of our lives. So is signage. Um, wherever you go, whether it be break rooms or in hallways, digital signage is how we communicate, mm -hmm. fresh information, um, and as well as on your laptops or your phones. So for us, this is a way of uh, life. Mm -hmm. We live like this in our company, and why we think we're pretty good at it is because we use it. We're users, we believe in it, and we think it's uh, not the future, it's the now. Right? And it's evolving. And so you've got to think about how are you going to invest, what experiences are you going to drive, and what from this show is relevant for your business to make it all come to life. Because at the end of the day, you're a consumer. How do you want to be treated? How do you want the engagement to happen? And so all of us vote with our wallets, and we think uh, this is a good place to at least see what's possible.
Hi, I'm Sid Hoda from Cisco Systems. I'm at Digital Signage Expo, where you sign up, sign on, it is all here.